Hello, Dr. Bolas. Thank you so very much for the opportunity to sit and interview you for our May Wood County Republican newsletter. And thank you for your service to our county. Hi, Tiffany. Thank you. Absolutely. I just wanted to ask you a few questions if I could. Um, how, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, okay, I did grow up in this area. I went to Eastwood School, then went on to college at Western Michigan, then went to medical school in Cleveland, and um, I've been practicing in this area for about 35 years. So <laughs> I'm no newcomer to medicine. And uh, I went on, by the way, to get a master's degree also in neuroscience so I could teach. Um, so I, I have taught neuroscience for a few years, but it got to be a little bit too much with everything else going on, so. I can understand that. Well, with your background, could you tell us a little bit about um, how you think Wood County has handled the coronavirus, please? Well, I, I know that we've handled it very well. We're doing teamwork uh, with the uh, Wood County Health Commissioner and also, that would be Ben Beatty, and also the Emergency Management Agency with Jeff Klein. And uh, they're doing a great job, but we work hand in hand with them and we have them on a conference call every week. And that will be on Tuesday, by the way. And it's open to the public, um, but uh, we'll have a conference call with the township, uh, representatives and also the mayors and uh, then all the um, elected officials and the public if they want to uh, get in on the conference calls. So uh, we feel that um, communication is very important in this type of a uh, situation. We appreciate your communication and you do it all so very well. What time is that call on Tuesdays? Do you know offhand? Well, um, we would start that call at 10 o'clock approximately and uh, we have session meetings starting at 9 15 but the public can tune in at 9 15 if they want to hear our session um, or they can tune in at 10 o'clock and that's when most of the township and mayors uh, tune in okay well speaking of communication and just kind of um partnering off of that how do you see wood county moving forward after this COVID 19 is done well i i think they're going to do very well we're planning on starting slowly of course and um we we have to stress to the businesses and all that they have to comply with what we call wmd um so the it's not weapons of mass destruction of course it's W is washing of the hands thoroughly and frequently, very diligently. The M is for masks and the D is for distance. So with the WMD and slowly opening our businesses, I think we'll do very well, but I want to stress that May is a very pivotal month. We have to be successful. And if we are, we can move more quickly back to normal. Very good. Well, that's wonderful to hear. We love the plan that you've put forth so far. Can you talk to us a little bit about some of your highlights from being a Wood County Commissioner for the past four years, please? Oh, I'd be happy to. There are so many because we consider everything a highlight. <laughs> so Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, um, for instance, Eagle Scout ceremonies. We participate in those and we, we uh, hand them a book of quotes, which uh, we explain that we feel will serve them very well in the future. Um, we also attend honorary celebrations such as 4-H and the health caregivers, we honor them, and also the octogenarians and older, all the way up to centurions. And um, another highlight, of course, which I can't forget is the Washington DC uh, trip that we three commissioners took and we we found out how complex running the government is and we feel that um, all the departments are doing their best for the people um, 
we, we were very impressed, but they gave us the opportunity, we as commissioners in Ohio, uh, opportunities to express our concerns, to find out what they can do for us. So that was very, very re rewarding. And another highlight and, um, would be the budget balancing. Oh, very challenging. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, one of the things that really stood out to me was I love how you involve the kids in the aspect of this, whether it's 4-H, whether it's um, the Eagle Scouts. It's so important for the children to see exactly what happens in government so that they can get a full understanding. So thank you all for that. We appreciate it. Let's talk a little bit about why you wanted to become a Wood County Commissioner. I know you were on the school board previously. What made you want to make the leap over to being a commissioner? Well, um, as I told you, I grew up in Wood County and I felt that being a commissioner, I could influence the county better. I know a lot of people in Wood County and I feel that I have a duty to represent them. Um, because I know so many people, because I did practice in Wood County, Bowling Green, and also Perrysburg for 35 years. So you get to know a lot of people. And um, I, I just felt that I would be able to use that experience to represent this Wood County very well. So I thought it was perfect fit for me. Absolutely, and you've done an outstanding job and we really appreciate your service. Thank you. Um, speaking of that, what made you want to become a Republican and why did you stay a Republican? Well, uh, it was Ronald Reagan, I believe, that said less government is better for the people. I'm paraphrasing. Absolutely. But he was in favor of less government and more people representation. Um, and I'm a believer in that too. That's why we have uh, so much communication. Uh, with people in Wood County. We have various ways to communicate with them. I won't go into all of them, but there are many. Um, another tenet of being a re Republican is less taxation. Balancing the budget, you have to consider needs versus wants. And that's what our mantra is when we're balancing the, the budget. We believe in strong community, strong communication, close, we, we want to develop a closeness to the public, the people we represent. We believe in physical responsibility and human rights. We, we believe in the Constitution to follow it exactly. We also believe in free enterprise. Um, that in turn will develop economic prosperity which drives the county. Very important. So in those respects, I'm a Republican believer. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Dr. Bolas. We really appreciate everything that you've done and we wish you good luck in November. Is there anything that uh, you would like to leave off on that we haven't covered that you would like to mention? Well, there is so much, but I would like to mention we, we as a county have to get out and vote. Um, I believe we had a 19% representation during our primaries, um, very, very low. And uh, that's rather disappointing. It's a very important election coming up in November. So I would be uh, recommending that you make plans to get out and vote in November, very, very important. Absolutely. But also, oh, one more thing I'd like to mention regarding this virus situation. I, I, I really feel there's so much to discuss about the viral situation that we're going through right now. We have to focus on what our future will be. We don't want to go through the same situation that we are going through now with another virus or a mutation of the present virus. There are things that we can do to, to mitigate what we're going through now. 
so we will be working on that as commissioners and health department and and the emergency management will set up a program so focus on the future is our mantra regarding this viral situation we don't want to go through what we're going through now again so that's what i'd like to leave you with <laughs> Well, thank you, sir. We appreciate your time. We appreciate all three of you for your service and good luck this November. Thank, thank you, you very Wood much, County. Tiffany. Thank you, Wood County. <laughs>